the white porcelain of white like the snow and the quality was completed in the 15th first half of the century of a Mr. Lee Korean age. Most kilns converted into the white porcelain in the 16th century. The country whole land was covered with the war by Hideyoshi Toyotomi's invasion at the 16th end of the century, and a lot of potters were taken to Japan. Imari porcelain is the European collector's name for Japanese porcelain wares made in the town of Ariga, in the former Hezen province, northwestern Kyushu, and exported from the port of Himari, Saga, specifically for the European export trade. In Japanese, these porcelains are known as Arigayaki. The Keio Imari and Iro Nagashima porcelains usually have painted decor of under glaze blue and iron red on a white ground. The subject matter is of foliage and flowers. Enamel colors other than blue and red are used in the Kakemon porcelain. The porcelain has a gritty texture on the bases, where it is not covered by glaze. Imeri were imitated in Crown Derby porcelain. Early 19th century Imeri was simply the transshipment port for Ariga wares. The kilns at Ariga formed the heart of the Japanese porcelain industry, which developed in the 17th century, after Kaolin was discovered in 1616 by an immigrant Korean pottery Yves Sam 1579-1655. Yves Sam Pyong was kidnapped with his extended family, 180 persons, after the Japanese invasion in Korea in 1598. After the discovery, Arita Combs introduced Korean style over glazing technique and refined designs from the political chaos China, where the Chinese Combs at Chintishan were damaged in the political chaos and the new Qin dynasty government stopped trade in 1656-1684. The first porcelain made at Arita, imitating Chinese blue and white designs, was also widely exported to Europe through the Dutch East India Company, but the designation, Imeri Porcelain, connotes Arita wares more specifically designed to catch the European taste. Though sophisticated wares in authentic Japanese styles were being made at Arita for the fast hideous home market, comma left square bracket one European export porcelains imitated Chinese underglaze, blue and white, wares were made use of enamel colors over underglazes of cobalt blue and iron red. The wear often used copious coating, sometimes with spare isolated spread vignettes, but often densely patterned in compartments. There were two quite different styles in these wares. On the one hand a gaudy, rash brightly colored and highly decorated style, the Imeri style, globular Imeri teapots with swan neck spots helped establish the classic European form for these new necessities of life. Early experiments with overglaze colored enamels at Arita are associated with the famous Sakaida Kakemon, 1596-1666 whose name is memorialized in Kakemon, where, the other main tradition in lightly fired over glaze enamel decors. Dutch traders had a monopoly on the insatiable export trade, the first large order being placed at Arita by the Dutch East India Company in 1656. The trade peaked in the late 17th century and was slowly replaced by Chinese kilns in the early 18th century. It ended in 1756, as social conditions in China settled with the full establishment of the Qin Dynasty. Imitating Arita designs, fine, Chinese Imeri, export wares were produced in the 18th century, eclipsing the original Japanese exports. Chinese Imeri patterns, as well as, Kakemon, designs and palette of colors, influenced some early orientalizing wares produced by the porcelain manufacturers at Meissen, Chantilly, or later at Vincennes. European centers imitated the style of Imeri, wares, initially in Fionce at Delft in the Netherlands, and in the early 19th century at Robert Chamberlain's factory at Worcester. Bakker who had left the experiment on the porcelain making in 1710 succeeded in making white porcelain in the Saxon territory finally. To monopolize the porcelain making, the Saxon archduke installed the kiln in the Meissen, 